No, Anna, you can't marry a man you just met. Okay, let's jump straight in into Coronation Elsa's box. Top left hand corner you have the Disney Store logo in the normal purple colour and on the other side you have the 6 Plus logo. Um, Elsa's box, the, the window cutout is a really really nice cutout, it's very unique, it's different to all the other ones. Um, the patternings on the side are like a royal purple colour with a dark blue and like a lighter teal blue. Um, and it's a lot of Norwegian, like traditional Norwegian like patterning going all the way around with like a thistle there, a flower. And like the other, I'm not sure what that flower is, what that flower is called, the dark blue one. Um, but it's got, it's like a lot of Norwegian patterning going all the way around. And I like that with all the Frozen boxes, they are um, very um, consistent. They are um, very Norwegian because obviously Frozen is set in Norway, um, and a lot of their clothes are inspired by Norwegian clothing. Um, but it's a nice touch that it binds all together. Bottom of Elsa's box is in a teal ribbon. It says limited edition one of 5,000 with Elsa. This was the second Elsa to be released after Snow Queen Elsa. Um, the side of the box is a similar, um, the window cutout is similar to the front but it's like thinner. Um, it's got the same Norwegian, um, same colour scheme patterning on the side with like some more Norwegian patterning on the actual plastic window itself there. That looks like a heart shape to me and it's mirrored at the bottom. The back of the frozen boxes, I believe I've said this many times but I do love the back of the frozen boxes. I love that they have the silhouettes of the characters. So Elsa's long head silhouette there is my favourite one. Um, it says from the movie Disney Frozen. It's got some information about the doll there, don't know what that is. Um, and it's certificate of authenticity and display stand included with the price and all the usual stuff. The top cardboard slip cover is removed and the plastic slip cover to reveal Elsa, a full scan of Elsa there, Coronation Elsa. The background of the box, which is a really fitting background I feel, is the cathedral in which Elsa was coronated in. It's like a weird upward like view looking at the, the um, ceiling of the uh, cathedral or monastery or whatever you want to call it. Um, it's a really fitting background as I said as obviously she was coronated in it and it's her coronation outfit and the certificate of authenticity is similar to the Snow Queen Elsa one it's got some Norwegian um, back, um, background like that's like faded out um, it's got the Elsa silhouette there which I love and mine is number 4665 of 5000 let's review coronation Elsa starting off with her face so coronation Elsa is a very I love the face sculpt for this Elsa and the smirk that she's pulling. It looks a lot more like Elsa than Snow Queen Elsa. I do think the Snow Queen Elsa one looks like her still, but this one looks spot on, I think. Um, I just think the expression that she's doing, the, the, the slight freckling, it, it's Elsa to me. Um, the lips are like a darker pink colour. She's got um, purple um, eyeshadow and under eyeshadow on. She's got her signature blue eyes. Um, and she's got really long rooted eyelashes, if you can see that. Let's just see if we can get that. Yeah, so hers are really, really long. Um, yeah, you can see it there. Um, which is weird, because I didn't think Elsa would have long eyelashes in this, in this outfit, but hey-ho. Um, looking at her hair, it's very movie accurate. She's got the same side swept bangs. She's got that gorgeous, like beach blonde colour that she's always got going on and then when you turn her to the side she has got that amazing Norwegian bun and it is perfect like it's movie accurate and they've done an amazing job on her hair um, she's got her crown that she was coronated in there um, and it's accentuated with um, like topaz amber style jewels um, let's go down um, to her bodice Elsa's bodice is very similar to the Coronation Elsa in, in that it's a heart shaped body, bodice um, and I think it's two pieces, yeah it's two pieces but it's sewn together um, so it's similar to Coronation Anna, it's got a lot of Norwegian rose mailing like embroidery on the cover um, on the front sorry um, and it's accentuated with like different coloured embroidery so the flowers are like a purple and a pink and then there's um, pink and lighter pink jewels to accentuate it um, it's lined at the top, the heart shape is lined with the V shape at the bottom is lined in a chocolate brown colour with, cho with like chocolate covered crystals which I really really love. The inside vest, it looks like a vest style thing, it looks like a two piece so like she's wearing a vest. She's wearing like a black vest which makes up the sleeves and the top part. Um, it's, that's it situated with um, Norwegian rose mailing there as well with like a green and um, purple embroidery with green and purple um, crystals to go on each strand. 
Um, it goes down to the gloves that she wears, obviously, because she can't control her powers right now. They are the lighter, um, like, powder blue coloured gloves, and they've got, like, powder blue um, crystals on them, and they're on both hands. Um, I think that they, because they included the crown, they should have included the um, scepter and the, the ball thing that she holds. I, I can't remember what that's called. Um, she should have been, they should have included them, but it seems as though as each doll has continued from the beginning, they've stopped giving each doll accessories. Don't know why, but hey ho. Um, she's got a, moving, moving on from the bodice to the skirt, the skirt goes all the way down to a floor length satin dress. It's like a teal blue colour. It's movie accurate, it's exactly the same colour as she wears in the movie. And at the bottom of it, it's got a lot of detail. It's absolutely gorgeous. Let me turn it to the side so you can see that in the light a bit. Sorry. So it's got the same um, as her bodice, but in like a bit more bigger detail. It's like flowers, Norwegian rose mailing going on, with a lot of purples, pinks, greens, and each part is accentuated with a different colour crystal. So you've got the green crystals on the leaves, and then you've got the pink crystals and the purple crystals on the flowers. Um, and now we move on to my favourite part, and a lot, a lot of people's favourite part which is the cape, the floor length cape which is so long that drags behind her. She, it's clasped together at her neck with like a rainbow um, style pearl like gem. It looks like the same gem that was on the designer Jasmine doll and it, they may have had some left over and they used it for this doll but it looks very similar. Um, and then the cape just drapes over her shoulders with like the trim here which is like a purple silk with like purple gems on it if you can see that there i just focus it for you and then the cape itself is made of like a magenta like an aubergine purple um velvet and it's absolutely stunning the detail on this cape is gorgeous and it's massive it drips behind her it bunches up at the bottom because there is so much of it and it twirls all the way around her if you were to debox her much like the snow white cape it's very much that like that, that length. It's massive and it's absolutely gorgeous. I love how they've draped it around her, like twisting around her so you can see that and the dress while she's in the box. Um, the rim of it here has got a lot of that Norwegian rose mailing embroidery which is also embroidered with aubergine coloured crystals going all the way round and it's on the entire like cape and it goes all the way around the edge. But then here, it's got a gorgeous, like this embroidery is gorgeous, just look at that. It's two-tone, it's a darker purple with a lighter purple, like a big flower in terms of Norwegian rose mailing. And it's got big and small crystals to accentuate it. It's absolutely breathtaking, the detail in this doll is absolutely gorgeous. Honestly, as much as I love the Snow Queen Elsa doll, I do think that the attention to detail and the effort that's gone into Coronation Elsa is a lot more than Snow Queen and this is one and I'm not surprised that this is a lot of people's favourites. Unfortunately I can't get to Coronation Elsa's shoes but they are exactly the same as they are in the film, the black flats with the Norwegian rose mailing patterning on them. I've seen pictures of her unboxed. Um, one thing I will say is to if you are going to get her, it does bunch up at the bottom so be careful when you're um, packing her and stuff because it does bunch up so like don't ruin it while you're packing it up. Um, I forgot to mention when I reviewed the cape was that the underline of the cape is lined with like a darker purple silk and it's absolutely breathtaking. So there we go, that is my review of the Disney Store 17 inch limited edition doll of Coronation Elsa. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, she's the second Elsa doll to be released in the 17 inch line along with Snow Queen Elsa and Young Elsa or Princess Elsa or whatever you want to call her. But what's your favourite Elsa doll? Leave me a comment down below letting me know which one that is. Anyway, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.